I knew my rent was gonna be late about a week ago. I worked my ass off, but I still can't pay it though. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my 2014 favourites. I'm so happy the year's gone. I'm not going to sit here and ramble on for like 10 minutes about how happy I am that it's like 2015 now and blah blah blah. I'm just going to go straight on to the favourites. <laughs> so for primers I do have a few. The first one that I adore is the Carrez Vitamin E Primer. It looks like this and it's just a really really nice nourishing hydrating primer so if you do have drier skin or you just like to nourish your skin i would definitely recommend that one it's really really nice then for days that i want a little bit more of a glow in my primer i have been adoring the l'oreal lumi magique base primer it's just a really really nice primer it's very very similar to the max strobe cream um but yeah i for some reason like this a bit better because i feel like it controls my oils just a tiny bit more I don't really know, but I definitely do like this one more than MAC Strobe Cream. And then I've also been loving this primer if I wanted my face to feel a bit more smooth. So if I know that I'm taking photos and stuff like that, I've been loving using this primer. This one's actually a sample size because I've finished up my travel size of it. So I currently only have this one, but this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and I think this is just the original kind. And then I may as well include my favorite eye primer as well. This one is my ride or die eye primer. If you have oily eyelids or if you have problems with creasing, you need this in your life. This is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Yes, it's NARS. Yes, it's expensive, but it works. And for me, I am willing to splurge on a product if it works. And that's my main priority. If it works, then I'm all good. I'm all happy. And that is why I definitely recommend this primer because it's really, really good and I don't ever have creasing when I use this. Like Urban Decay Primer Potion, Potion, not Potion, <laughs> Too Faced Shadow Insurance, all like the Rimmel one, which other ones have I tried? I can't remember any more off the top of my head, but those ones made my eyeshadows crease. It wasn't fun. I didn't like it at all. This is great and I don't get creasing with it and it does have a doe foot applicator which makes application super super easy. I may as well talk about this product while I'm on the primer category because I do use this underneath and over my makeup. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is just the original kind and I feel like it really does lock in my makeup. Um, to get the best results from this, I personally like to spray it underneath my primer, over my primer, over my foundation, <laughs> over my powder and then once before I leave the house. I know that might sound a little bit excessive, but if you're going out and you're going to have a very long day, so you might have an event or like a birthday or like a wedding or something like that, I truly do think it's worth it to do that many sprays because that's how I get the best results. But if I just want like an average day's wear, I'll just spray it under and over my foundation. Somehow I was able to cut down and pick my four favorite foundations. I love foundations. Foundation is my weakness. And I have been able to pick out my favorite four for the year. Let's talk about my holy grail. This is the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. I literally have three backups of this shade in particular. This is in the shade F200. Then I also own F300 and F100 also. So I have four, five, I have six bottles of this foundation. Like six. If that doesn't tell you how much I like it, then I don't know what else does. I also absolutely adore the Makeup Forever HD Primer. Primer? No, foundation. Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous and it looks amazing in photographs. I now own two shades, one for when I'm pale and one for when I'm fake tanned. Then two from the drugstore. I absolutely love both of these. I love this one for the same reasons I love this one, but I love this one just that hair more because it does have SPF in it. So this one is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Foundation. I have mine in shade W3. I also have it in the shade W1 as well when I'm lighter. Or is it N1? I think it's N1. Whatever. I love this foundation. It looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. And paired up with the Lumi Primer, it's just so glowy but so beautiful. And then also the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I have mine in shade 53, I think. Yeah. 53. I also am 51. That's absolutely beautiful. These look amazing. All four of these look amazing in photographs and they are all medium buildable coverage, which I personally love and adore. Let's talk about concealers real quick. I love concealer because I have very, very bad under eye circles. 
comes from genetics, I can't even help it. So to kind of combat my dark circles, I love two types of concealers. The first one is from the drugstore, which is great. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, it just comes in the funky little packaging like this. I have mine in the light, the brightening, and then I also have the fair shade, I think, which I currently have in my backup drawer because I want to use up at least one of these. But this is amazing, and it's very, very, very similar to these. These are the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. I have three shades, Vanilla, Chantilly, and Custard. And I absolutely adore these. These are very, very similar to the Maybelline ones. But I just prefer these the tiniest bit more because of the applicator. It's just got the doe foot applicator. And I just really, really like it. I do think it's worth the money. Moving on to face powders. I have an under eye setting powder which I adore. This is the MAC Pro Powder in the shade Emphasize. I've definitely done a significant dent into this. I think I either bought it at the start of this year or at the start of 2014, sorry, or at the very, very, very end of 2013. I can't exactly remember, but I've made the biggest dent into this. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on it yet. But it just gives your under eye, or wherever you put it, just the most beautiful glow. So, strangely enough, I don't have it on today, but I absolutely adore this. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it's the only under eye powder that I actually lean towards. Then for setting the rest of my face, I don't know why I like this powder, but I like it because I keep reaching for it over my other powders. This is the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder. It's translucent. It doesn't have like those glittery things in them or anything like that. It's just a matte powder that just sets your foundation and it's just good to go all day long. I love it. It's like 12 bucks. You get this giant tube, tub, not tube. And I just think it's really, really good. I reach for it over my NARS, over my Makeup Forever. I reach for it over a lot of powders and I don't know why, but it's really good. Oh my gosh, I forgot this concealer. This is the EX1 Delete Concealer. Now this one is a new concealer to me, but I definitely do like this. I like this for spot concealing, not so much under eye concealing. But it looks like that. It's one of those that comes in a little pot. And I just think it's really, really good for like touching up the like touching up if you have like a blemish or some discoloration. It's just a really, really nice thin consistency but good coverage concealer. So one of my favorite highlighters has to be the NARS Coco Cabana Illuminator. This is absolutely beautiful. I wear it underneath. I wear it over my foundation. I'm not a big fan of mixing my illuminator in with my foundation because I think that's a bit strange. But I love putting it under and over my foundation. This is absolutely beautiful and it looks like you're glowing. Then my last highlighter is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. Now yes, I've tried Opal, but I don't like it as much. I love an intense highlight and this does it for me. It's just the most beautiful color and I just like it way more than Opal. Sorry for all those who love Opal, but definitely give Moonstone a try. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I love bronzer. I love being bronzed. I love it so much. This is the Shiseido bronzer. Yeah, it's just the Shiseido bronzer in the shade number two. It's just absolutely gorgeous, guys. Look at that. It's just so beautiful, so finely milled, so soft on the skin. It's great. Makeup Forever Matte Bronze Bronzing Powder in the shade 20. This is absolutely beautiful. This actually gives you a bronze, not so much a contour, which I personally like. I think that in your collection, you should have like one that actually bronzes your skin and then one that actually contours your skin. So I absolutely adore that. For blush, I have two. This time last year, I didn't think that I would love blush, but it just shows how things change, right? So I love the Benefit Rocketeur blush. It just looks like this, and it's just the most beautiful, beautiful color on the cheeks. It's not too pigmented, but it's definitely not not pigmented enough, if that makes sense. It's just that perfect in-between. And then that's the exact same reason why I love MAC Warm Soul Blush. This has not been in my collection for long at all, but it is absolutely beautiful and I love it. I think that this product made my year for eyebrows. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I was using the shade Dark Brown for quite some time, but then they did release new shades and I did pick up Medium Brown, which I adore way more than Dark Brown. It just complements my eyebrows so much more and I love it so much more. For my lazy days, I've been loving Benefit Gimme Brow. I used to use it in conjunction with a powder, but I think that that makes my eyebrows look too dark. And I'm not a big fan of that look anymore. So yeah, I just love that for every day. If I just want to brush something through my eyebrows and not worry about it, I love that product. And then for powder, I've been loving the MAC Eyeshadow in the shade Run. I feel like it matches my hair 
perfectly and I just love it so so much. And then for pencil, I've been loving the MAC Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Stud. Yeah, the shade Stud. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a very very fine tip so you can definitely just get a lot of precision in the eyebrow which I enjoy. Moving on to eye palettes. I love eye palettes. I think they're just the best value for money. I don't know why, I just love eye palettes. I can't get enough. So I definitely have a few to show you. So the first one is from Too Faced. This hasn't been in my collection for too long. This is probably the newest one that I'm going to show you. But this is the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I think this is just a perfect everyday palette. It's just gorgeous. And then also from Too Faced, I've been loving the Chocolate Bar Palette this year. This is probably one of my favourite palettes, especially ones that you can buy in Australia on counter. Absolutely gorgeous, smells like chocolate, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The Lorac Pro palettes have been getting a lot of love from me this year. I own both the 1 and the 2, I unfortunately didn't pick up the Mega palette, but I have no regrets. This is what the first one looks like, and this is what the second one looks like. They're very, very different, but they're still very, very wearable. And I love them. The pigmentation is absolutely gorgeous. And if you don't own one, I would definitely recommend you pick up one because they are so good. So the Steeler in the Light palette has been getting so much love from me this year, especially the first half of the year. I adore the sunset, the, the sunset shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. And Bliss is just a beautiful color as well. I just love this palette. I think I could travel with this palette very, very easily and be very, very happy. So of course I have to mention the Naked 1 and the Naked 2 Basics palette, the smaller 6 shadow ones. These have been getting so much love from me this year. I'm so, so happy that they brought out the second one because I think these two just complement each other so well. If you don't own at least one of these, I would highly recommend it because it definitely builds up the mattes in your collection. Moving on to lip products, I have so many, but the first ones that I want to show you are these. These are the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I have not had these in my collection for long at all, but I know that I absolutely adore them. I'm not going to go into too much depth as to what shades I own because you you would have seen those in hauls and also upcoming like get ready with me and tutorial videos. So yeah, but I currently own five and I want so many more. They're absolutely beautiful guys. I'm not even kidding. I cannot do my yearly favorites without mentioning the Australis Velour Lips, especially the shade Paris, which is this one down here. I absolutely love these. If you want a matte lip cream from the drugstore, Australis is the way to go. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I cut down to my top five favorite MAC lipsticks for the year. So the first one is the shade Honey Love, which looks like this. Second shade is Please Me, which I think is just the most beautiful pink. Third shade is Sin. Absolutely love this shade, it's gorgeous. I have Love Lawn. And then my most favorite red, I think, of the year is MAC Russian Red. Two more lipsticks. These are the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. I have the shade 6, which is this color here. And I also have the shade 7, which is this color here. I've used so much of this one. And then for lip gloss, I've only really loved the L'Oreal Extraordinaire Lip Glosses. I owned one for a really, really long time and that was Rose Finale. And then I recently just picked up Nude Belay and also Rose Melody and they are all so similar in consistency. I love them. They're not too opaque, but they're not too sheer. They're not too sticky, but they're not not sticky enough that they're gonna run off your face. I absolutely love them. The packaging is great and I just really, really like them. Okay guys, so that's the end of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely comment down below some standout products for you for the year as well. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.